Denver Broncos Mile High View. No commercials, no bullshit. I'm going to make this as brief as possible. So I am listening to the people that sold you this this lie, and um, it, it it's going exactly as we said in the off season it would go once reality set in. And uh, the people that sold you the bill of goods um, can't no longer make shit up out of thin air. Um, I'm listening to them saying, you know, the same stuff we said they'd say. Well, if you t turn it sideways, if you look at it through this lens, and it, perhaps if you do, you know, just the problem is here's the deal. And this is this is a video for Rob. Uh, um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Rob Walton. Uh, you got to shut that noise off. Here, here's here is the the situation for the Denver Broncos. You, Rob Walton, are going to have to at some point admit to yourself you were lied to. You were sold a bill of goods by a guy that occupied the office, the largest office at Dove Valley. Realize that. This person is a, a horrible manager. He mismanaged the whole thing. He spent your money. It wasn't his money. He spent your money. And the bottom line is Russell Wilson never should have been brought to the Denver Broncos. A, this team, nobody, uh, none of those turd polishers that are part of the John Elway uh, posse uh, is going to tell you that. Um, they lie to you that this team was never a quarterback away. That's the lie that has to be put to, to put to bed. You can talk about Russell Wilson. There's a reason why Seattle didn't sign him. Because Russell Wilson is correct when he says, I want to be like Breeze. Well, to be like Breeze, you'll have to know how to be a pocket quarterback. And in this league, Ultimately, all roads lead to that. And I think the th same thing is going to happen with Lamar Jackson, who actually can be a pocket quarterback. He's a very effective po pocket quarterback. Uh, when, for instance, the Ravens decide that they're sick of seeing this guy on injured, the injured reserve, because they have him running around like a chicken with his head cut off. You know, now I'm hearing we, we need to let Russell Wilson be Russell Wilson. Well, Russell Wilson is being Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson himself knows he has to be more of a pocket quarterback. The bottom line is, is that this, this guy should have never been signed. You should have stuck with Bridgewater and Drew Locke and developed the 53-man roster. You should have had John Elway kicked out the door and his nonsense about his legacy, his, his I, I made this team almost a quarterback away, his ridiculous, absurd, overpaid signings, like Randy Gregory, where Dallas knew not to pay him because they knew they, they, he can't play a whole season. I, and I would have been fine with Gregory if you didn't pay him $70 million, but that's a John Elway way. Paying Melvin Gordon. You, you just can't get around this mismanagement. Rob Walton has to clean house eventually. You're, you're just... You're in, you know, John Elway just stuck you with the biggest lemon. They're saying that the Broncos can't get any lower. Well, I disagree with that. You haven't even hit your the, the schedule yet. I mean, you're struggling with the Colts. Okay, wait till everybody. You've already played one division and, 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 and division uh, opponent. And here's the thing: they only had a mediocre offense. They put thirty points on you. Oh, but the offense, the offense, you're going to gauge the, or I'm sorry, the defense, the defense, you're going to gauge the defense based off of playing the Colts? How, well, when you played a mediocre offense, they laid 30, 30 points on you. So you're anything but a quarterback. You were never a quarterback away. It all sounded good at the cocktail party. Oh, well, Russell Wilson equals Super Bowl. It doesn't work that way. I don't think Russell Wilson... You could let go ahead and let Russell Wilson be. That's kind of what he was last night. You know, some days, okay, he can he can maybe be consistent. Some days, you know. Then there's the other the fifty three. You got some players that are you know pretty good. That Stearns obviously keep Justin Simmons over another overpaid player off the field. Uh, Browning was a stupid experiment. Your blind backing is is a, in the in the in the coverage is is non-existent. 
And had you had a quarterback that even could remotely throw a, a, a complete a pass, I mean, you put Bridgewater there, you probably would have put 30 points on this team with that crap offensive line. Maybe not quite 30, but he probably could have got at least 21 points because there were plenty of wide-open receivers that, you know, and I don't get it, Wilson, and you put Teddy Bridgewater on the Broncos, they probably would have put a 30-burger on, on, the, on the Colts with that crappy offensive line. You know, I... I you know, at some point, what I'm this the crux of this video is somebody's gonna have to be honest and say that that Russell Wilson deal never should have happened. At at some point, the, the the people that sold you that turd have to say we got it wrong. But they won't. They're they're gonna say, well, if you look, turn it sideways, you squint your eyes, turn it upside down and, and sideways and look at it just in the right light, maybe. Somehow, perhaps, we can go from there. They're saying that it'll take four years for Russell Wilson to be a pocket quarterback. Well, why'd you sign him? Because you know that's what he needs to be. He ain't going to be... You want him running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Okay, well, then you're going to open him up to injury because he's his age. He's not even that accurate, you know, running around like a chicken. He can't be the running back, you know, rushing for all this. You, you, you just really... You did something you never should have done. It's John Elway mismanagement. So get used to being at the... I mean, this is why Seattle was no way was going to pay Russell Wilson. And they are in a lot better shape. They have a, a couple of quarterbacks, kind of like Bridgewater and Locke, and he got Locke there. And they can start building up this team. And then they can go out and get themselves the next, you know, whatever. And they'll be fine. And and it's going to take a long time for the Broncos even to catch up with them. But you you know nobody wanted to listen to a voice of reason. You know, and and there's going to be a lot of people doing the same thing, reinventing, trying to recreate, lie to you, say, well, you know, if you just turn it this way, tweak it that way, it's way beyond that. So you know, there just has to be a moment of honesty. Okay. There just has to be a moment of honesty. And the honesty is that that deal should have never went down. John Elway needs to be removed completely. I mean, no phone calls other than, yes, Mr. Elway, yeah, we're moving in a different direction. We got it. We heard you. We're moving into a different direction. That line, Rob Walton has to get cut. You need a new mindset there. You need somebody that actually understands how to put together an organization. You need that Elway stench out of there. You got to get rid of it. And you, you have to admit you were lied to. You have to admit you were sold a bill of goods. You have to, if, if you really want, PR isn't going to, stadiums, uh, this is football. This isn't, you can't just gloss over with with slick advertising and marketing and, and eight channels telling you, telling fans a bunch of bullshit that ends up biting them in the ass. You got to get, you got to purge that media too. You got to hire people that actually know what the fuck they're doing from the from the front office. And the first thing they got to do is admit they were sold a bill of goods. You're going to have to do eventually do something with Russell Wilson. I, I don't I don't believe that he has a no trade clause in his contract. You know, I think if he did they would they would have shouted that from the mountaintops. But after t the two initial 2 years on his original contract, but you, you I don't know, you, you know, <laughs> you just better not make these same mistakes because, you know, John Elway, I mean, if this, it doesn't, if this is one of the worst managed teams I've seen in a long time from every aspect. They're, they're right there with the old 70s Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you know, right up there. So, you know, it's going to come up to, it's going to come up to you, Rob Walton, to, you got a mess on your hands that John Elway, who told you that was going to happen. You, he was going to put a big old fat turd on your lap. And you're going to have to figure out, you know, how you're just going to have to be honest with yourself. And it's, you're going to have to make cruel, unkindly decisions and uh, get, get this organization. But he set you so far back, man. Good luck. You know, but, you know, at least be honest with yourself. You were sold a bill of goods.